Hey Tribe, I'm coming on here really quickly again to answer one of your questions. Rich, I'm so sorry I didn't get back to you for a long time, but that was intentional. So your question was, how do I ground myself? And a lot of people ask me that throughout time very, very often. But let's talk about this. Once you are in chaos, I like to call it chaos. Every single thing that I'm going to say is going to be what's helping me out. First off, um, try to discern from scale 1 to 10 how ungrounded you are because especially those people who tend to work in this field or they're very interested in spirituality it can be very high up there and they don't notice how they get lost and then suddenly they don't know how to be in the 3d for others this can be an issue with either certain responsibilities that you have you know there are so many tasks that you have to take care of and you don't know where to start and you just at the end of the day you start pondering for me what helps um, I would think okay scale of 1 to 10 how ungrounded I am today and what might have been the reasons behind that because um, technology a lot of times can be a very big distraction I would acknowledge what kind of routine did I have today how did I start my morning and what happened to trigger me we're gonna start small so say if I've noticed in my routine that I have spent an hour when I woke up scrolling on social media I would then completely ditch social media technology for an hour and a half for some of you it might be uh, a bit more but you also have to know when you're able to do that because a lot of you might have to check you know when the bus is coming or to check navigation or to do something else right during that hour hour and a half maybe two hours depending on how much time I need uh, ditching the tech completely now this would be for a lot of you your morning routine probably on the weekend when you don't have to rush or you could wake up a little bit earlier to give yourself that time during that morning routine let's say you come out of a shower you put some cream on your face now um, catch yourself even think of it today or the next time you'll be doing it right when you're putting cream of your, on your face how focused are you on just rubbing it in and feeling it on your skin and how many times you are in your head and you're thinking about the other things you're about to do or flashbacks of a day whatever I would do during that hour hour and a half two hours depending on how much time I have I'd focus on anything that is here and now and I would truly feel it so say if you're making your coffee just focus on that coffee feel it smell it it's all about having your attention on one thing um, sometimes I would want to maybe clean my house it's all about kind of rejuvenating as well yourself as well as the surroundings around you second thing what you can do surprise surprise is meditation so what some people like to do they like to imagine as if there are roots from your feet connecting to the earth other people like to imagine themselves as halfway in the earth halfway above the earth in the cosmos so whatever visually truly works for you but the focus should be on the feet one more option that you have is probably something that not a lot of you will love doing is a cold shower I imagine as if everything that is dirty that it has collected over a day maybe or a past couple of hours or a past month is being washed away and it goes right into the drain I like to connect to the earth energy if I feel like I need groundingness so I imagine from the mid middle of the earth either golden light or white light towards my feet and it overflows my whole body also what can be helpful for you guys recognize where you have pressure on your body a lot of people have it in their shoulder area neck recognize the pressure recognize heaviness in your body and uh, play some music in the background that you truly vibe with and do some intuitive movements what I mean by that intuitive movements is when you allow your body to move as freely as possible just doing whatever your body wants to you might look like a crazy person to someone around you if you'll do it around someone else but this is truly helpful to shake the energy off and to ground yourself a bit more overall guys what I would suggest you doing in order to truly feel as grounded as you can and as present as you can throughout the day is not to forget self-care because a lot of people are focused on you know formalities jobs children husbands wives friends family members at the end of the day we come back home sometimes drained af that day what you need to include is yourself i'd suggest 
doing it in the morning as well as evening if you can obviously not all of you have that much time recognize what you can do for yourself and start from there as you know one step at a time i hope this is helpful and i'll see you soon